Hey, Mari. Hey. Hey, Ma. What's she doing? <laughs> you ready to get your hair done, Ma? You gonna tackle this? Ooh. Hey, you guys. This is Eve back with another video. So, Mari, we're gonna do your hair today. I had kind of already started. Um, this is gonna be actually her first time we're tackling her her little cradle cap. And I'm gonna be showing you how we get that out, or how I get it out. And then how we moisturize her hair. Marty is three months old. Say, I'm three months old, Ma. Ma. You gonna tell him how old you are? Say I'm three months. Say I'm. That's right. That's right. So we're gonna do your hair, and we're gonna show them how we style it. Okay. Do you wanna sit up for mommy? Okay. And so this right here. <laughs> I know this probably looks gross guys, but this is some of her cradle cap I combed, was combing out of her hair. So she has pretty much a lot. But in the midst of me doing it, I was like, oh my God, this could be a great informative video. And we're gonna start Maddie's journey on how we grow her hair, how we take care of it. And so, yeah, let's get started. Hey you guys, we are back with the video. This is Madi. Say hi, Modesty. We call her Madi for short. So we're gonna try to do Madi's hair before she gets too, you know, cranky, but we have her in this baby Bumo seat. And um, I will drop a link to the baby Bumo seat. Um, if you're interested, this holds, she's three months old, so this holds her up. And um, we're gonna do her hair. So this is, uh, I normally wait till three months to tackle, um, I kinda don't irritate the baby's cradle cap, you know, the dandruff that they have built up in their scalps. I kinda leave it alone. I kinda leave it alone until, <laughs> until she's about three months. Um, so she's three months old now, and so we're gonna kind of um, clean her scalp, and then we're gonna be applying shea butter for moisturizer, for natural moisturizer. And we're gonna demonstrate that to you today. And yeah, let's help her get started. <laughs> so, I'm gonna turn her to the side. What you wanna do, she's looking like, what's going on, mommy? What you're gonna to wanna to do is, um, and she has some, like, um, some thinning here. She kind of has some ball patches. And what I've been doing is kind of like, they're already in like little sections because what I've been doing is best to, um, can't see me. It's best to go ahead and like start separating it. And what I like to use are the plastic if you can see, these are plastic rubber bands, not rubber bands, but these are plastic. You can get these from a roses if you have a roses in your area. Um, I don't know what else they were still, I get them at roses. Or you can probably get them online at Amazon. I'll try and see if I can find them for you. But they're plastic rubber bands. They easily pop, so they don't tear on the hair as strongly as um, a rubber band would and they they're really elastic but they i like the black ones they also come in a clear or white they come in different colors but the black ones to me are um a little bit more durable the white ones they kind of pop if there's any light or sun on them they pop easily uh but they're not they don't pull on the hair as much as um a, a strong rubber band so you need a light plastic elastic uh band and that way it doesn't grip or pull the hair out uh too much and then it all depends too on how you tie it you don't want to tie the hair too tight you probably want to loop it around the hair probably about at most four times and um 
we're gonna demonstrate that to you today. So, what I like to do is I go in and you part it how you want to, but you wanna gently, just like that, try to remove the dandruff. And I've already started working on this bigger section. And you wanna kinda part it little by little. I don't even know if you can see that. Can you see? I'm gonna have to zoom in. But she has some dandruff here. Can't really tell, but I just kind of lightly, be very gentle because they have a opened, their head is still kind of open at the top. So you want to be very gentle on her scalp when you're doing this. So you're gonna just part and lightly just massage, like a gentle massage out the dandruff. And she's doing good right now. How are you, Mighty? You doing good? Okay. You're gonna kind of just gently massage through. I want you kind of just gently and then pull that dandruff out. It's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a bit of a mess depending on how much your baby has. But you kind of just want to lightly brush those flakes out. And you don't want to go too hard. If some of them don't come out, it's okay. It will over time. And you just want to kind of gently massage those out with a nice little baby comb. Or even if you use a regular comb like this, it's okay. But be very gentle. Very gentle. Very gentle. And then what you do, like I say, you're not gonna get all of it out because <laughs> sometimes she's just a little impatient. But what I'm going to be using is my Eve's Naturals. Can you see that? Eve, Eve's Naturals uh, hair and body. It's for hair and body. Now I use this all over her body and I also use it for her scalp. It's natural organic shea butter. It has no scents, no no perfumes, no smell. So it's very gentle on babies. So we're gonna be using this on her scalp because it tackles scalp, um, dandruff, a lot of benefits. I'm gonna upload a video about all the benefits of shea butter. But for right now, it's gonna help tremendously. If your baby has cradle cap, it helps tremendously in healing, naturally healing the skin for the scalp and for your, naturally for the baby's skin. So if you're looking for a natural organic um, substitute to use for your babies, shea butter is always the best. From the time they're small all the way up to they're grown, shea butter is the best fit. And also, I want to just mention that it's great for hair growth as well. Um, if your baby suffers from eczema, great. You, you won't, my baby had, um, my oldest daughter, she had eczema and it cleared it clear it up so they don't call this liquid gold for nothing <laughs> it's literally the key to everything like if the world would end i would need shea butter that that'll be the only thing i would need it's a natural healing very powerful healing um product so we're gonna use this <clears throat> gonna use this on mighty and she's doing so good right now so i'm trying to Cause I have about, uh, ooh, she has a lot. I just wanna kindly gently do that. But I'm not gonna be able to get it all out today. So what I'm gonna do is, um, but you do that each time. So I do her ponytails. Um, this is gonna be my first time applying the shea butter. I want to wait until she was three months um, so I could get some of that dandruff out. But what we're gonna do is apply the shea butter. See, she's getting a little antsy. I normally like to do this when she's sleeping. Um, as far as doing her little ponytails, but she's gonna apply a little shea butter. And my shea butter is very creamy. You want it very creamy and whipped. It's a whipped shea butter that I naturally make myself, but 
So you wanna go in there and apply that to her sections. And uh, even if the baby, if your baby doesn't have much hair, that's okay too. Um, because um, you can always, the shea butter will allow it to naturally uh, grow. So if your baby doesn't have much hair, this shea butter will definitely get it going. And I'm gonna just, you know, with her, she has two spots. She has a spot here on the side, a little thing spot, and she has one on the other side. But I'm gonna show you how beautifully it grows in over time. We're gonna keep doing a hair update on her. I say each month. I'll do it uh, every month. What I do. And she get, she's getting a little antsy, so. I might have to cut this video a little shorter and feed her and then she'll get back comfortable and then she'll want to sleep. She might you want, you want that mama? You want the cold comb? Okay, I'm gonna give her that comb. And then I'll use this one. Sometimes she likes to hold and play with something to kind of distract her. As we put the shea butter in her hair. Okay, and once she greased that entire section, what you're gonna wanna do is just comb it up. You don't have to put none on the ends. Um, you don't have to. It, from the scalp, it'll always move down the shaft of the hair. Um, so. You don't have to. And then once you gather that little section, I like to take a little, so her little baby toothbrush, you normally use this as a little brush to scoop up her hair. Let me show you what I'm doing. I just brush it up like that. Just to kind of brush it up. Oh no, here you go, Ma. You want this now, huh? I said, let's see something else. Huh. There you go. So, I'm gonna take a little plastic band and you're gonna just pull that section up in the ponytail. And it's okay if she has little dandruff flyaways. That's fine. Yeah, you know, a little bit. I didn't even count. I think that's four times. Was it four? Okay, let me do it again. I'll make sure that it's four. But you just, to take it out, you just, you know, gently tug from the scalp. And then pull it out. And that's, it comes out easy. I'm gonna use another one. I wanted to count for you guys. Tired. She just ate a drunk a bottle. But you want to grab that section and you're gonna do one, two, three, four, and then that's it. You don't have to pull real tight. You have to be want to be very gentle. Let's move on to the next section. She doesn't have much of the um, dandruff on her sides as much as on the top of her head. Um, and so I don't really have to do much to the side part, but I'm still going to oil it with the shea butter just to put that moisture back in there. This baby seat is a lifesaver. Now the seats come with little straps now. Um, back in the day when I bought them for my other uh, oldest daughters, when they were babies, they didn't have the little seat belts in them.
yeah they didn't have the little seat belts in them but you can easily take them out uh, because this is a, it's, a, it's a very lightweight seat and I would recommend putting it either on top of a bed or on the floor because they put the seats in it just in case I guess a mom were to put their baby on the counter or some somewhere far but even if your baby tips over the belts, <laughs> the little seat belt is not going to save them from falling at all. <laughs> They're still going to fall. So I recommend putting this seat on top of a bed. Um, that way you have more control over it or just on the floor. Um, so that way if they do tip over, you know, they it can be close to the ground. So they're very far up or high up from the ground. And you never want to leave your baby unmonitored in the seat. Because like I said, it's a very lightweight seat and it's easy for them to kind of, you know, Tip over with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, so what you gonna do is finish this section off. You're doing so good, Ma. So good, my big girl. And then you're gonna grease the next section the shea butter and then the next just that whole little section and then once you've done that touch the little outsides and that definitely get that little thinning spot make sure you put some there and you want to train your babies early as far as prepping them to I know this is mommy, you know, my me and mommy's time and she she's doing my hair. You know, you don't have to be an expert to do this, you know, but you definitely, you know, some kids, I've had experience in being in a salon and kids are not good at sitting down or, um, they're not good at really sitting down because they haven't, you know, had that training to getting getting their hair done and stuff like that so this is i i do it early she's three months old and she's getting her hair done okay so she has the experience of sitting down in the seat and knowing that hey my mommy's doing my hair i'm very gentle on her scalp so it doesn't hurt her you don't have to pull anything tight these ponytails are not tight at all she can barely feel them. Oh, there you go. She can barely feel them, so. And, um, yeah. So if, if kids get that experience from an early age, they'll know how to properly sit, how to properly know, hey, this is me and my mommy's time and I'm getting my hair done. Mommy's doing my hair. And you won't have any trouble with them. They won't have any type of experience at being tender headed. And she is, like I said, three months old and she is sitting up so good. And you know, she's just started, you know, um, doing good with her head sitting up, you know, so she does good. I just want to part the next section. And then you want to put the shea butter in that one. Ooh, mommy, you spit up. <laughs> Yay! You want to keep all your twos, but <laughs> you want to keep the little pacifiers and you want to keep the combs and everything close so that way. And like I said, I have to hear you because she she eats like every 40 minutes. So I got about a few minutes before she gets like really cranky, really cranky. And she won't let me do, and she's not gonna let me do it. But you have to be patient with them. 
you know and work as fast as you can like i said i normally like to do this when she's sleeping and she wakes up and she was like well dog when did i get my hair done and it's crazy because i started recording this video while she was sleeping but then she woke up <laughs> so i had to put her in her little baby boomo seat and this is how this like i said this seat i use this seat to train my kids how to sit um, and just getting getting their hair done. Uh, she didn't have much dandruff in this section. Like I said, it just really was this top part. But if if your baby does, then you're gonna want to do each section where you gently massage and take a comb and gently massage. Two, three, four. Gently massage that, you know, the cradle cap out. And then. Okay, now. Okay, there you go. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's already about to get hungry. She's like, Mommy, don't tell my beast me. Don't tell my business, mommy. Don't tell my business. I know. I know. But yeah, I'm gonna do the next section. I'm part of the next section. Like I said, she doesn't have much of the dandruff in the back. I might have to make her a bottle. Okay, well, we're just gonna turn her around this way so you can see the back. And then we're going to part this section. You can probably see better what I'm doing. Put this section. But yes, you have to be very gentle. They're here. Another street. Very gentle as possible. That's right, y'all. Yeah. Then you're gonna apply your shea butter to that section. It's a little tiny, it'll be a lot. And massage it in. And then you're going to part again, make sure you get into the middle. Each section. And massage the line. And then once the whole section is done, just move the other hair out the way. See if we can brush it out the way. Brush it this way. Then you're gonna just brush this little section. Brush it all up into the little pony. Ponytail. <laughs> That's what I mean by pony. Need a little bit more shea butter here at the top part. Just a little bit a plastic band and like I said these bands don't really last that long the black ones last longer than the clear ones or the colorful ones but two. oh 
it came out. <laughs> It's not too tight, it's very gentle. Then we're gonna go to the next section. We're almost done. We're gonna part that. I can't see. straight <laughs> I was trying to get it as straight as I can't see she keep lifting her head up and I'm trying to lift it down <laughs> so I guess that's the best we're gonna get and you're just gonna put some shea butter down that area massage it through be very gentle and sometimes she'll fall asleep when I'm doing this Just, just because just how gentle I go through and section and just put some shea butter in there, massage it through. Oh. You just gotta be very patient, you know? Just so they, the hair can get to growing. You gotta be very patient. Don't pull at it. Don't tug at it. You don't want no tension. Absolutely. That's the key to growing a baby's hair. It's no tension at all. We're gonna. I was looking for a baby comb, but I have this comb. This is a, a nice gentle comb. And you just gotta be very gentle. Very gentle. And you comb that through them and just massage that little area, cause some type of stimulation in there. You just want to be very gentle, gentle as possible. Okay, now you want to grab another plastic rubber band. And sometimes, you know, um, she started, you know, a little bit like some areas, you know how some babies get that crown, that smiley face. You can break this up into two sections. You can put one here because that's what I was doing because she started thinning here. You can put one down here for another section and one here. But because I've been doing her ponytails for a couple weeks, her hair has actually, um, grown a little bit more I've been doing her um little section ponytails for about I say two weeks now so she has had two weeks of a little bit of growth she's getting sleepy guys <laughs> but um let me go ahead and finish this section um you know put some more oil in there but yeah she's had this these ponytails for about good two weeks now so she's had two weeks worth of growth this is just actually my first time applying the shea butter and just going in there and getting her um just want to massage that through gently and then she's getting a little antsy okay mom yeah, she's rubbing her eyes. She's sleepy. Okay. We're almost done. You want to just comb that section. And then once you have it, you're just going to put that section in the ponytail. And that's it. That is 
her whole style. Let me turn it to the front. I'm going to take a little bit of the gel. This is the safest gel. It's alcohol free. Okay. This is the safest gel. It's alcohol free. Um, this is gel I like to use on myself, my kids. That's the Eco Style Olive Oil Gel. It's a very lightweight gel. So you just want to take a little bit. And I'm going to show you how much I'm going to use for her edges. Okay. So you just want to take a little bit. I'm going to show you how much I'm going to use for her edges. Just that much. Okay, Ma. And we're going to smooth down her little baby hairs with that little bit of gel. Even if your baby doesn't have much hair, you can just massage her scalp with the shea butter and just kind of pick it through, you know? And then what you want to do is, you know, you can still lay down her little hair, her little edges and, and add a little cute decorative bow, a baby bow. You can get the baby bows on Amazon. You can get like a pack of, um, you can get like a pack of like 30 or 40 for like five or six dollars. I'm just, I'm just gonna do the other side. Turn this side, she's falling asleep. <laughs> I told you they fall asleep when you're so gentle. They, they don't even know, but it's just, this process is just getting them used to you playing in their hair and you know, you, gently um getting that connection with them because if they do grow up and have a little gentle scalp it teaches you to be gentle it teaches them that you're gentle say hey <gasps> who's that baby who's that baby yeah see mommy has me looking all nice and pretty and then this is on this side <laughs> she likes looking at herself <gasps> say hi Say hi, I'm Marty. <laughs> she likes looking at herself. And so on this side, that's where, you know, her little thinning spot is. But we're going to come back and we're going to show you how much it grows out. She has one on both sides. And then her back is coming in really good though. It's doing, ugh, it's doing a lot better. And then this is her top. Ooh. Let's see, it's a cute style for today. All right, say bye, YouTube. Say like and subscribe. <gasps> say like and subscribe. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. My baby. Yes, yeah, so that pretty much concludes um, this video. I actually have a client, so I'm gonna be doing some locks right now. Just wanted to get her kind of, you know, presentable. We all have to be presentable. I have to be, <laughs> gotta do something with this. <laughs> My hair, and I still kind of have the crinkles in from the last video I posted, so. It's been, these crinkles been in for like a week. But yeah, it just goes to show that, you know, all of us mommies, you know, we definitely need the help, but I have to go guys. I'll see you later, bye. So I put my daughter down to sleep. Um, <laughs> she was, yeah, she, 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 she was done. But um, I just wanted to come to you and tell you that um, I, I don't, currently uh tie her head down with a scarf or a baby bonnet uh just yet i'm going to because i haven't i haven't yet purchased one 
um, but I'm going to get all that stuff and try to find some different things because babies tend to rub their hair out you know all that back and forth and rubbing on fabric fabric takes the baby hair out you know um so you want to if even if you if your baby sometimes can pull the bonnet off maybe they're really not that interested in <laughs> having something on their head or they don't like anything on their head you what you can do is you know get a either a satin pillowcase um, my daughter sleeps in a bassinet um and her little bedding that's in there is very small so um i don't keep a lot of uh, blankets in her bassinet but what you could do what i'm thinking about doing is maybe a silk pillowcase yeah a silk pillowcase over the um the little mattress because it's not that big it's about the size of a pillow so i, I would rec i would think that a pillowcase would fit over the bed a nice little silk pillowcase you can get a silk pillowcase from amazon sometimes they sell them two in a pack for like nine dollars or they you know if you go to a beauty store in your local area you can find a pillowcase at beauty stores they sell them in the aisles with the bonnets and the scarves um for tying your head up at night um if that if not that you can you know just try to eliminate ways to you know keep them off the back of their heads even if you have to kind of elevate them um while they're sleeping on their backs um because i know they're small right now so it's not really much you can do about them rubbing their hair out <laughs> because uh, it's required for them to sleep on their backs at night so just try to manage it i guess i would say as much as often um but then again i want to show you um these plastic rubber bands like i said i purchased them at roses if you have a local roses in your area i don't know if they have a roses which is a discounted store um up north but they do have them down south but you can get these rubber bands there um like i said they break very easily um even before putting my to sleep, I had one to kind of pop on the side, but you can keep applying them, you know? Yeah, it may be a little aggravated. Just carry some in your purse if you're going to a little event or if, even if they're around the house. It's okay because, you know, these definitely with um, sunlight and I know that even with product, because they're plastic, they slide out easily or they may pop. If you add product um, like shea butter to moisten the hair or any type of oil, um, I recommend a gentle oil, so don't, you know, kind of go crazy with trying different oils just yet. Um, what I would highly recommend as far as a scalp oil is olive oil, um, natural olive oil from the store, um, natural organic olive oil on the scalp. If you don't have any shea butter is what I would recommend. Um, just until you can get some shea butter. Um, but I like the shea butter because it's a natural healing and it's also great at growing the hair as well as, you know, healing the skin and the scalp and any type of, you know, any type of issues you may have, uh, the baby may have as far as eczema. Um, it's good for an all around product, like I mentioned before. I still have that little tender spot, so you don't want to be harsh on the baby's hair, but just, like I said, even if you don't use um, the little plastic rubber bands, um, you know, just, let the baby hair breathe is what i recommend breathing moisturizing gentle massages on the scalp um and when it comes to their cradle cap if it's very severe just try to use like i said a light oil um i would recommend starting to use any type of oils and shea butters like i said at three months but you have to be gentle and easy you can't rush the process so i got these bowls at Amazon and they come in different little colors so if your baby doesn't have much hair at three months just like I said gently you know apply your moisturizer gently massage the scalp and you can put like little cute bows like these and they're very these are I, I, they're like a type they're silky so they don't pull at the hair or the edges at all 
and um, they come in different colors. We got all these varieties of cute bows. And this was like a pack of 20. We got 20 bows. Match any and every outfit. 20 bows. I think this pack was like $9. It, was, it might have been cheaper than nine. But you got a whole pack of bows. Um, and as she get bigger, she'll get bigger bows. And as her hair grows, you know, so I think that's all the tips I have right now for a three month old. Um, and what to do with their hair. But over time, like I said, I will post more videos and you would really see how much Madi's hair is going to grow. It's going to grow really, really fast. And um, just be gentle. Gentle is key to growing the hair. No tugging, no pulling. Just letting it naturally grow. And if you want to get your baby a baby bonnet, absolutely absolutely at this age if they don't tear them off but at this age <laughs> she's pulling and tugging so as i find solutions you know we're moms and we're all growing look at this thing on my shirt <laughs> as we're growing as moms you know take time but thank you so much for tuning in and until the next video we can you know <laughs> learn and grow together thank you for liking thank you for subscribing thank you for commenting thank you for being a part of this journey with me and us growing as a family thank you so much until next time and one more thing i wanted to mention about the baby seat this is the baby seat it's a baby bumo seat and I will drop the link down below for this seat. But as you can see, it came with clips. Right here, right here. Um, you can definitely take this out. Um, because the clips get in the way of them sitting down. The clips are all in the way. They can barely fit in there with the clips and they're very irritating. So you can just pop them out at the back. And like I said, I used a butter knife to pop the things off of there that secured them in there. And it's a little seat like this. You can prop them in and it's good for tr um, training your kids, you know, especially your little girls or your little boys if they have long hair is is you have to train them early you know so having a seat like this where they sit up and they actually you know get is getting their hair done it shows them hey this is the time that you know mommy's doing my hair and if even if they have sensitive scalp you know you have to be gentle and do gentle styles tight doesn't equal better you know, tight equals hair loss. Tight equals hair loss. Pulling equals hair loss. And I know you want to get it nice and right and, and you know, tight for the occasion, but you have to be patient. You know, with patience comes hair growth. You know, that's a key factor. But this seat, I will try to leak it down below um, once I find the link down to it and like I said, you don't really need the straps in there because it's best to sit this thing on the floor or on top of a bed. That 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 way, if they do like tip over, because it's a very lightweight seat, you know, they're able to be caught, you know, because a seat belt putting this thing on, you know, it has a little strap in there. If it falls over, the baby's still going over. It's not going to stop the baby from falling. That's it does nothing. <laughs> so yeah, I love the seat. And they come in different varieties of colors, pink, purples, blues, and it all. Uh, this is like a, I don't know. <laughs> it, it, it was it was on sale. That's why I got this color. Okay. It was on sale. That's why I got this color. Okay. So, but yeah, I got it from Amazon. So, I'll drop that link. But thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye.